कुछ करके रखा था सोचा था आपको बर्थडे में गिफ्ट देंगे बट आप बर्थडे के बाद से मिले नहीं तो मैंने सोचा क्यों ना बेफिक्र के ट्रेलर लॉन्च में किया जाए बट आप वो भी आपने पेरिस में कर दिया फिर मैंने सोचा था क्यों ना कोई किसी मीडिया इवेंट में ही मैं आपसे मिलूंगा और आपको कुछ दिखाऊंगा मैं फाइनली हाथ में आ गया ये yes, फाइनली आप मैंने लगा यार मैं ये सो so, तो क्या मैं वहां पे आ सकता हूं आ जाओ इतने टाइम से कुछ करके रखा है मुझे तो टेंशन हो गई बापू क्या करने वाला है तू मैन दैट्स इनक्रेडिबल मैन Vani my question is to you um Vani hi here yeah. uh there were lots of intense kisses in should desi romance there are lots of intense kisses in this film as well who kisses better that's unfair to ask yeah <laughs> uh, uh, yeah it's an obvious answer <laughs> ranveer you have <laughs> repeatedly said here yeah. how are you how about the world ma'am <laughs> you repeatedly said uh, uh, referred to kissing as warmth why have you not directly said it was hot and what is the difference between warmth and hot uh, kiss being hot i mean like i said there are different kinds of kisses when it's a hot kiss when do you when do you take an opportunity of the hot kiss <laughs> when do i take the opportunity of a hot kiss I've done every kind of kiss that there is to do oh, uh, and there, I'm sure there are a lot many more but I've done my fair share of kissing on screen uh, these kisses perhaps you could not count as the hot and sexy kisses you know I've done those I mean you've seen that song right ang laga de wo bhi kela madam to okay to so uh, So yeah I mean uh, that, that there is a, there is a there is a situation for every kiss there is a there is a certain feeling attached to every act of kissing that of course was a very hot and sexy uh, uh passionate kiss and these kisses are um, a little bit more full of that feeling of love and warmth uh, so I guess that's the difference I'm fortunate enough to have an opportunity to explore both kinds of uh, performances on the screen and also with somebody special yeah. that kiss which kiss ang laga de sali if you say so uh, okay vani uh, uh, can you tell us best thing about ranveer singh that hi i'm here kushbu sorry yeah best thing about ranveer yeah. singh oh ab sochna got, padega time breath. lagega <laughs> i got good breath then annoying thing <laughs> And Ranveer, what is the best thing about? Why am I answering? He makes me feel extremely mm. comfortable. Yeah, I feel very, very comfortable. Um, and the fact that he's uh, he's a very he's a very he has a good soul, and you can see that, and you can feel that. So when you even when you're working with him, you just see through that. You know, you see that niceness in him, and he really does have a good heart. <laughs> इतने अच्छे से ब्रेन वॉश किए मैंने तुझे सही जवाब दिया तूने बेटी रणवीर बेस्ट थिंग अबाउट वानी दस में से दो हंटर कम मारूंगा अभी तुझे मैं ये चल मेरा जवाब दे कुछ पूछा है सॉरी कुछ पूछ रहे रणवीर व्हाट इज द बेस्ट थिंग अबाउट वानी What's the best thing about Vani? Yeah. सबसे बेस्ट मतलब आउट ऑफ ऑल द गुड थिंग्स दैट आई हैव शी इज अ स्वीट हार्ट शी इज अ स्वीट हार्ट शी इज अ स्वीट पर्सन स्वीट गर्ल मतलब मतलब टू स्वीट या शी इज लवली मेरा देन यू टेल अ शी इज लवली 
Um, she's, what is the, that I think is the best thing in addition to a, a number of things. Um, you know, she was, uh, she brings such a great energy to the film set. Yeah, I was going to say know, that for him. It's wow. exhilarating. It's very rare that there is somebody else's energy that infects me and energizes me. And uh, that happened to me from the very first day with Vani. Um, she's, uh, she's always in the moment and she works extremely hard at her craft. She's very passionate about acting and about films. But uh, what I love the most about her is that she's a darling of a person. Ranveer? Uh, uh, रोमांटिक रिलेशनशिप है Don't put it in a box. Don't uh, give it a tag. It is what it is. Uh, you know, uh, there is a tectonic shift, uh, in my humble opinion, uh, when it comes to romantic relationships. As far as young people of today are concerned, there's a generational shift. You know, the way they look at uh, romantic relationships and the decisions they make and the way they go about themselves in the realm of uh, uh, being in a romantic relationship is very, very different from what it used to be. Um, <coughs> and it's not. It's it holds true for young people across the world you know it's not just it the indian youth it's young people across the world are are very sure about themselves and uh, there has been a a change you know i mean like uh, there were members of our director directorial team you know all youngsters and uh, you know interacting with them all 19 years old 18 years old 20 years old and interacting with them you get to understand how much uh, more liberal they are in their outlook when it comes to romantic relationships uh, so that was another learning for me that i got from befikre and from interacting with so many young people who are working on the film uh yeah i am a little more traditional um because those are my foundational years you know um i have grown up in an age where there was very little internet and uh, very little uh, social media and connectivity and and so on so for me my uh, my take on these things is a little bit more traditional because i i am not uh, uh, an 18 year old in today's day and age you know so my foundational and formative years have been a little more traditional uh, same here uh, uh, i feel i'm very very conventional when it comes to relationships and i i'm simple that way i don't expect and demand a lot but um, for for somebody uh, who has the ability to look beyond themselves is more than enough for me in a relationship uh, ranveer yeah teri meri to kabhi nahi banegi kabhi nahi main do dikha nahi itni de shoot kar raha hu isliye to taala maar ke chabi fek di humne actually hona chahiye na uh, ranveer uh, no, i cannot right. look beyond myself to teri meri kaisi banegi uh, ranveer to your right here 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 main main right right yaha yaha mere bare mein sawal hai Uh, Ranveer, two questions for you. One is, uh, we usually see actors while they are doing period films uh, say that it's it's very challenging. We don't see them say the same while doing a rom com. You know, for instance, we have seen both Shahid and Deepika say that uh, Padmavati will be very very challenging, but we have never seen them say the same for a rom com. So, why why does that happen? Um, I think it's each actor to his own. Mm. You know, um, the other day I was hearing Ranveer speak, <coughs> and he said something that was. Uh, that may answer your question um according to him it's even more difficult to to act in films like ye jawani hai diwani or ae dil hai mushkil you know because where you don't have a distinctive character where you have to bring your own personality that has to be entertaining and engaging and charming enough to add it to the character so it's each actor to his own it's what you find challenging um, maybe another actor doesn't find that challenging so i guess it's a personal preference um according to me um for me i don't know man i don't know what's more difficult or less difficult um what i know is that i'm very happy and blessed to be working in films and that i go out every day and do my best uh and that's the best i can do sometimes you have very difficult days on easy films sometimes you have very easy days on seemingly difficult films 
so it, there are too many factors and permutations. So there's no real answer to that. Also, Shahrukh Khan. Uh, also, also. Sh Um, I have actually, sir, never said that I'm a method actor because I am not a method actor. I think method is a term that is very loosely thrown around. Uh, nobody uh, really understands what this thing is, method, you know. Um, even the person who invented this term method acting when he grew old and senile said, whatever I said is rubbish, please don't follow it, you know. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, I've, I've never really claimed to be a method actor. Yes, I do have a process which uh, changes with uh, every role, every character, every film, uh, every film and every scene. Um, yes, Mr. Bhansali was, uh, kind of broke my ideas and notions about uh, acting. Uh, sir, 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 sir. Um, and uh, like I said, my process changes for every, every film and every character. So, um, so yeah, Mr. Bhansali kind of broke all of that and sort of, there was a spike in my evolution having worked with him for the first time because he'll come on set and he'll change everything and you have to adapt to um, you know the fluidity of his creativity in the moment and just go with it with full conviction. So it was a huge evolution for me to have worked with him. Um, and then I think my first real um, film that was very candid and casual and conversational was Dil Dhadakne Do. And uh, I think uh, Adi sir is a blend of both, you know. Uh, he is one director who really engulfs a very, very wide spectrum of an audience, you know. Uh, it will be subtle and nuanced and credible and still, uh, you know, completely entertaining. It won't be so subtle ki bhaiya baat pahunchi nahi audience tak. You know, he's at the end of the day a full-on mainstream director. Um, so for me, Adi sir, even this is something I thought about him even before I worked with him is he's one guy who can really, really blend uh, the factor of credibility and commerce in a film and bring them both together to appeal to a very, very wide spectrum of audience. Uh, yes, Bayfikri is a film all about casual banter. There's a lot of walking and talking, a lot of humorous dialogues. We improvised a lot. Um, and, uh, and yeah, I mean, we've done a lot of long takes, so there are hardly any cuts, which is great for us as actors. Uh, so you'll find, uh, you'll, I think that, that casual quality about the uh, relationship dynamic adds an immense amount of value to a film like this. Thank you so much, guys. We'll, this is like the last question. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming and being a part of this event. Dance promotion. 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 D